The sky's the limit when billionaires decide they want to have some fun. From taking a holiday to space to collecting rare paintings, nothing is impossible when it comes to billionaires. So, let's take a look at the top 10 billionaires' hobbies that they indulge in. Number one, space vacations. A regular vacation just doesn't cut it for a billionaire anymore. Their idea of fun is exploring places that are actually out of this world. Seriously, even the sky is not the limit when billionaires decide to go on holiday because their top destination is no less than outer space itself. Just recently, Blue Origin CEO Jeff Bezos blasted off to space in his personal rocket, the New Shepard. The space vessel reached an impressive height of 100 kilometers above Earth's surface. And this 10-minute space ride cost Bezos a whopping $5.5 billion. But Bezos isn't the first billionaire to go to space. Microsoft giant Charles Simonyi beat Bezos by a decade as the first billionaire in space. As early as 2007, Simonyi had already taken two trips to space with the company Space Adventures. But being the first billionaire to jet off to space sure did cost Simonyi a pretty penny, with some reports suggesting he spent upwards of $60 million on his twin space sojourns. Number two, extreme sports. Billionaires are also pretty famous for being adrenaline junkies. Google co-founder Sergey Brin, with a net worth of $102.3 billion, is known to split his time between trying out the flying trapeze and skydiving. Talk about living for the thrill. And we have to say that skydiving isn't exactly cheap. The gear and certification alone would easily cost $20,000, while every jump costs $200 each. But people like Sergey are known to rent out the whole plane when they go skydiving. We have to say, whatever billionaires do, they do it with style. Golf and tennis are also sports that billionaires enjoy playing, and they're prepared to pay huge sums for it. We know for a fact that spending $250,000 in country club fees is nothing to these guys if they can get a good game of golf out of it. Number three, scavenging for spaceships. Let's come back to Amazon mogul Jeff Bezos, who has a net worth of 191.8 billion US dollars, which makes him the richest person on the planet. And he sure knows how to burn cash to have the most thrilling adventures, because Bezos' hobby is searching the oceans for submerged NASA rockets. That's when he wasn't jetting off to space, of course. But getting on these spaceship scavenger hunts isn't exactly cheap either. A single mission alone requires more than a million dollars. And that's before you factor in the daily operating costs of a massive ocean liner, plus the salaries of the research team. Not to mention the hefty price tag that comes with all of the state-of-the-art equipment needed to pull out a spaceship from the bottom of the sea. And Bezos has definitely put all that fancy equipment to good use by successfully finding the remains of the Saturn V and the gigantic thrust chambers that were used during the Apollo 11 space mission. Number four, hunting. Guess who's the next Hunger Games champ? It's none other than Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg, who has a net worth of 131.8 billion US dollars. Zuckerberg is famous for going on full-scale hunting expeditions. And when asked why he does it, he said that it sharpens his focus. We have to say that he sure is willing to go to great lengths to get some mind clarity, but then if there's one person who can afford a crazy expensive hunting trip, it is Zuckerberg. Trust us, the hunting gear alone costs thousands of dollars not to mention licensing fees and other expenses. His most recent trip was to Hawaii to hunt wild boar. Hunting these wild animals is actually legal because they are an invasive species that harm the indigenous plant life of Hawaii. These boars are also just a general nuisance to the locals, too. So Zuckerberg is pretty much doing a public and environmental service by getting rid of these feral hogs for us. Looks like we have something else to thank him for besides Facebook. Number five. Partying at private islands. Dietrich Mateschitz is the co-founder of Red Bull and has $27.4 billion to his name. And he certainly knows how to spend his billions. Dietrich purchased his very own island paradise in Fiji in 2003, and he had to pay $10 million for it. But Mark Zuckerberg is the real deal when it comes to owning your own private vacation spot. Zuckerberg actually owns land worth up to $100 million bucks in Hawaii complete with stretches of his very own white sandy beaches. Billionaire Larry Ellison isn't far behind either. He actually spent $300 million to virtually own the entirety of the Hawaiian island Lanai. 
Number six, collecting exotic paintings. Collecting antiques and rare paintings is definitely a billionaire hobby. Record company CEO David Geffen, who has $9.9 billion lying around in his bank account, is famous for being an avid collector. His personal art collection has pieces that are worth $2.3 billion. That amount would probably be enough to cover the educational budget of some countries. But like a true billionaire, Geffen knows how to make money through his hobby. In 2006, he sold Jackson Pollock's number 5 1948 painting for an astronomical $140 million, and Willem de Koenig's Woman III for $137.5 million. Number 7. Car Collections You know who collects supercars like people collect stamps? You guessed it. It's Tesla's top man, Elon Musk, who has a colossal $156 billion net worth. And his car collection is absolutely insane. It even has an actual submarine car worth $1 million. Who knew submarine cars were real and not science fiction? And let's not forget that this is no ordinary submarine car. It is called the Lotus Elise. And it's actually the exact same car that was featured in the classic James Bond movie, The Spy Who Loved Me. That is definitely a collector's item and coveted by James Bond fans the world over. But Elon Musk doesn't just collect beautiful cars, he drives them, too. He once smashed up a $1 million McLaren F1 in an absolutely heart-thumping hell-for-leather ride. Number 8. Hot Air Ballooning Billionaire Richard Branson has a unique way of getting around. He ditches his private jet and actually loves hot air ballooning to places. Which is funny, because he's actually the guy who owns Virgin Airlines and has assets worth up to $5 billion. And Branson is pretty serious about his hot air balloon hobby. In 1987, he actually crossed the Atlantic Ocean in just a hot air balloon. Number 9. Sailing When billionaires decide to ride the high seas, you'd better believe that they'll pay huge sums to get their hands on the fanciest yachts known to mankind. Malaysia's top businessman, Robert Kwok, owns the History Supreme, which is probably the most expensive yacht ever, with a price tag of $4.8 billion. That's more than what some countries make in a year. What's so special about this sailing vessel? Well, for starters, it's made out of solid gold. Yeah, you heard that right. Solid gold. And to top it all off, it easily costs more than a million dollars just to operate and maintain this bad boy. And number 10, singing. If money is no object, then there's nothing stopping a person from achieving their dreams. And ex-Alibaba CEO Jack Ma's dream was to become a star. And he certainly made good use of his $46.1 billion to put together the most extravagant shows. On the eve of his company's 18th anniversary, Ma decided to celebrate by performing a Michael Jackson impersonation. And believe us, it was a show like no other. Ma performed for his 40,000 strong employees at a venue that would rival the biggest pop concerts anywhere. Cost estimates for the entire show go up to almost the $1 million mark. Ma really did spend a fortune to realize his dream of performing to adoring crowds. And since he's so popular in the country, all his shows were packed full of fans. And with that, we'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching.